Hi guys, welcome or welcome back to my channel. In this video, we will see general equation of a line and also different forms of ax plus by plus c equal to 0. In my previous video, we have seen problems based on various forms of equation of a line. So if you haven't watched that, there is a link in the description box below, you can check that out. So we have already seen various forms of equation of a line, right? We have point slope form, two point form, slope intercept form, intercept form and normal form. So here they used to give the condition of the line. Like say that line is passing through such and such points or they will give the x intercept, y intercept or the line, the angle which the line is making along the x axis, that angle will be given. So depending on the parameters, we used to go for any of these forms to write the equation of the line, right? So in this video, we are seeing different forms of ax plus by plus c equal to 0. That means they will give the equation of the line. From the equation of the line, we have to find the parameters like x-intercept, y-intercept, slope, depending on the given equation. So what is the general equation of a line? We know the general equation of the line is given by straight line is ax plus by plus c equal to 0, right? This is the general equation of a straight line. So when the equation of the line is given by using slope intercept form, intercept form and normal form, how we can find the parameters? That we are going to see in this video, all right? Here we cannot go for these two methods to find the parameters. Why? Because in slope point form we know Slope point form, the formula for slope point, slope point form is y minus y1 is equal to m into x minus x1. So here we don't know the value of x1 and y1. In this straight line, we have infinite points. So we don't know which point they, is this, right? So we cannot find the parameters by using this form and also by two point form. In two point form also we know the formula y minus y1 is equal to y2 minus y1 by x2 minus x1 into x minus x1, right? So here we don't know this x1 and y1 points because in that straight line we have infinite points. So by using point slope form and two point form we, are, we cannot find the parameters, all right? So we are going to see these three forms. By using these three forms, how we can find the parameters of this given straight line, all right? So first let's see by slope intercept form. So now let's see the first method that is slope intercept form. So by using slope intercept form, how we can find those parameters that we are going to see now, all right? So for that, let's take the general equation we have of a straight line. We have ax plus by plus c equal to 0. And what is the slope intercept form? We know y is equal to mx plus c, correct? So if I reduce this equation or rewrite this given equation in this form, how you can write that? So this equation in this form means by is equal to these two terms will take to the other side that will be minus ax and minus c in this side we want y so let's take this b to the other side so we have minus a by b x here we want plus so if i put plus here minus c by b correct plus into minus is minus. So when you compare this e these two equations, equation 1 and equation 2, so by comparing, we can say m is equal to minus a by b. Here m is what? It is a slope of a line, right? And this c, C is equal to minus C by B. What is this C? This is the Y intercept. So when equation is given, we can find the slope of the equation by simply substituting minus M is equal to minus A by B and Y intercept is given by minus C by B. Say for example, we have an equation X minus 2Y plus 3 equal to 0. This is your straight equation of a straight line. Now, how do you find the slope of this line? So, we know slope is given by m is equal to minus a by b. So, the general formula is ax 
plus b y plus c equal to 0. So what is a here? a is 1 by b is minus 2 plus half. So the slope is half. And what is the y intercept? We know y intercept is given by c is equal to minus c by b. So minus c means this minus c here is 3. So minus of c is 3. So 3. b is minus 2. So this will be 3 by 2. So this will be your y intercept. So if you know these formulas, you can directly substitute to find the slope and y intercept of a given line. So I hope this is clear. Now let's move on to the intercept form. But before that, pause the video and note this down. So now let's see the second method. By using intercept form, how we can find those parameters? Alright, so we have a general equation. We know ax plus by plus c equal to 0. This is a general equation of a straight line. So what is intercept form? We know intercept form is x by a plus y by b is equal to 1. This is your intercept form, right? Now you have to reduce this equation to this form. For that we have ax plus by. This c we will bring to the other side. So this will be minus c. Because we want 1 in the right hand side, right? So now if I bring this minus c to the uh, left hand side to the denominator, then you will have 1 here, right? So let's do that. So we have ax by minus c plus by by minus c is equal to 1. We want this in the form of x by a. So how you can write this? x by minus c by a. This is one and the same, right? Plus y by minus c by b. Correct? is equal to 1. So now when you compare equation 1 and 2, what is your a? a is minus c by a and b is minus c by b. So here a means x intercept and b is your y intercept. Let's say for example, we have an equation 3x minus 4y plus 10 equal to 0. So x intercept is found by using a is equal to minus c by a. What is c here? Minus c is 10 by a is 3. Correct? So this is your x intercept and b is equal to we have y intercept is given by minus c by b. So minus c is 10 by b b is minus 4 we know the general form ax plus by plus c so b is minus 4 so this is 10 by 4 you can reduce this to 2 is a 4 2 5 is a 10 so this is 5 by 2 so this is how you will find the x and y intercept by using intercept form so you will have to know these two formulas right a is given by minus c by a and b is given by minus c by b I hope this is clear. Now let's see the last form that is normal form. But before that, pause the video and note this down. So what is our general equation? We have ax plus by plus c equal to 0 is your general equation for a straight line. And in normal form we know x cos omega plus y sin omega is equal to p. What is this p? This is the distance, it's a perpendicular distance from the origin to that straight line, right? And this omega is the angle made by that perpendicular distance along the x-axis. So here both of them represent the same line, right? So we can write these two lines are proportional to each other. The coefficients are proportional to each other. That is a by cos omega is proportional to b by sin omega which is equal to this when I bring to the other side this will be minus c. So minus c by p. So we will equate these two and these two. So first let's take a cos omega is equal to minus c by p. And we have b sin omega is equal to minus c by p. What is cos omega here? So cos omega is equal to a into p by minus c. And here sin omega is equal to 
b into p by minus c correct so this is nothing but cos omega is equal to minus a p by c and we have sin omega is equal to minus b p by c so this is your cos omega and sin omega so here what is our aim we have to write this equation in the form of x cos omega plus y sin omega is equal to p right so for that we will square these two and add that is by squaring and adding adding we get cos square omega plus sin square omega is equal to you have to square this so minus ap by c the whole square plus minus bp by c the whole square so we know cos square plus sin square omega is 1 which is equal to here we have minus of minus is plus so a square p square by c square plus minus of minus is plus so b square p square by c square correct so what is c square so c square is equal to we have a square p square plus b square c square so here p square is common we have a square plus b square c square is this one so this implies p square is equal to c square by a square plus b square correct so this implies p is equal to square root of c square by a square plus b square. So this implies p is equal to plus or minus. Here square root and square is gone. We are left with c by. We have square root for the denominator. So a square plus b square. So this is your p. We know p is the distance from the origin to the perpendicular distance from the origin to the that straight line right. But that distance cannot be negative, right? So you will always take this as positive value. That is P is equal to plus C by square root of A square plus B square. So now we got cos omega, sin omega and P. So now that we have P, we will substitute this P in cos omega and sin omega. Here this P, we will substitute this value here. So our cos omega and sin omega will be in terms of A and B. For that let me erase this part. So we will write here, so cos omega is equal to minus a p by c. So we will substitute p as plus or minus this. So we have plus or minus a p is c by, here we have c square root of a square plus b square. So this c and this c is gone. We are left with plus or minus a by square root of a square plus b square. So cos omega is plus or minus a by square root of a square plus b square and sin omega will be minus b p by c. So when I substitute for p, so c and c will get cancelled. So we have b by square root of a square plus b square. So we got cos omega in terms of a and b and sin omega in terms of a and b, correct? So we will substitute these. So let me erase this now. So we know the general equation of a straight line ax plus by plus c equal to 0 and in the normal form we know x cos omega plus y sin omega is equal to p where cos omega is plus or minus a by square root of a square plus b square and sin omega is plus or minus b by square root of a square plus b square and p is given by formula this. So by using these we can find the value of omega and p. I hope this is clear. So this is in this video. See you soon. Till then, take care. Almighty bless.